What's good, Washington fans? So we are not trading Morgan Moses. We are going to release Morgan Moses. The news just came out. I think it was um, announced by Ben Standig. So um, I, I, I really, I, I, when, when we released the news that we were going to uh, trade or let Morgan Moses allow him to, to seek a trade, I was like, okay, maybe we can get a third or a fourth. Then I sat on it. I was like, you know what? We're not going to get anything back for this guy. This guy's 30 years old. He's not a bad player. He's a, he's a solid player. He's a pretty good player. 96 consecutive starts. Uh, was an Iron Man for the team. Morgan Moses Pancakes. You already know what it is. Um, played really well last year when guys got hurt. When Lucas got hurt, he swung to the left side. And David Sharp was on the right side. I remember that for the Thanksgiving Cowboys game. And he played pretty darn well. Uh, when we beat up on the Cowboys 41-16, to he, he he did a heck of a job. I mean, against, you know, a solid pass rusher, Demarcus Lawrence and Olden Smith, played pretty darn well. So I thought he had a great, I, had, I thought he had one of his better seasons, not if not his best season last year. Um, so I understand from the trajectory, we're going to be saving $7.75 million in cap space. We have about $13 million available before the releasing, and we're releasing Jaron Christian as well. Don't want to forget about releasing him, even though he was kind of, I'm not going to call him a bust, but... You know, he was a third-round pick that just didn't do much. Um, so we're releasing both of those tackles. So the depth gets smaller and smaller. So that's why I don't 100% really agree with the move, but I understand why he's doing it. If he's trying to extend Jonathan Allen, that's what the rumors are. Or if he's trying to, you know, make a trade for a quarterback, I highly doubt that happens. But Or even bring in somebody else that is going to require a lot of money. So I highly doubt that happens either. But... Who knows? I don't know what Ron has up his, his sleeve. Um, they're saying he wants to get younger. And then I looked at a report from Darren Haynes uh, last night. That came out last night. He said, Morgan Moses said that they didn't. he didn't ask to be traded. He said, Washington is looking to move forward with their younger players. And Moses is not exactly in the future plans. Um, so that's that's what a source said about the Morgan Moses situation. So I personally, I, I just don't like it because of the depth. I think it really hurts our depth. Um, I was like, I was very happy when we traded for Eric Flowers and got Leno, but those moves were made to remove Morgan Moses. And I know a lot of people, there's a lot of people that don't like Morgan Moses either. Um, you know, the false starts, the penalties, holding penalties, things like that. I remember when his controller froze against the Niners a couple of years ago. And then also, um, you know, going on the radio every Monday morning after we lost, that was pretty annoying. So I get that as well. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this was kind of botched when you announced that you're going to let a player seek a trade. And if the trade doesn't work out, you're going to release him. Of course, teams are not going to try to trade for this guy. Of course, they're just going to be like, oh, we're just going to wait for you guys to release him. Why Why would I trade for somebody that you're not, that you're, if you don't find a trade, then you're just going to end up releasing them. Of course, you're not going to get anything back. So that's one thing. I just don't like that we're not getting anything back for it. And, um, and it hurts our depth. But I, 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 I get it, you know, trying to release a guy before he gets too older, kind of like a Bill Belichick move, like a chess not checkers move. So I get all that as well. But personally for this team and in a 17 game season, I just think you could use all the depth you could get. Honestly, David Sharp is a backup right tackle. I just don't think that's good enough to win football games. Uh, Sam Cosme is a rookie. We'll see what he can do. I like, I did like the pick of Sam Cosme. He was more known as a left. He played more left tackle in college. He did play right tackle as well. Um, so we'll see what the young man can do. Uh, good luck to Sam Cosme, Charles Leno starting a left tackle, and then Cornelius Lucas is going to be the swing guy. And then who knows, maybe Cornelius Lucas might beat out Sam Cosme at right tackle. But they said that they really, really want to see Sam Cosme start at right tackle. We still have Sadiq Charles. I'll always forget about him because he barely played last year. Maybe he could compete for right tackle, even though he's playing. He's he, I think they're going to play him at guard in um, next this upcoming season. I think Eric Flowers is going to start a left guard. Um, Chase Rudy in the middle, of course, and then Brandon Sheriff. So uh, we do have depth at the guard position. You know, Wes Schweitzer uh, uh, as a backup left guard, and Sadiq Charles playing guard as well. And then uh, Wes Martin wasn't terrible at right guard like two years ago when Brandon Sheriff got hurt. So, but uh, a 17 game season is going to be a grueling, tough season. You know, somebody gets hurt, and you know, next thing you know, we got to throw Davis Sharp in there. That's really, really questionable. It can get real murky and real ugly, you know, for Fitzmagic, Fitzpatrick, or Heineke. So, that's just where I, I just I'm not a big fan of the move to be honest. But I, like I said, I get it. I get it. You know, getting rid of guys before they get too old. I get that. But this is what Ron has up his sleeve. This is what he wants to do. He wants to get younger. Basically, he just wants to get rid of all the guys that were there before him. So I get that. Unless your name's like Terry McLaurin or John Allen, Durant. unless you're on that defensive line, then you weren't there before him. 
then he wants you gone, basically. Um, he is keeping Landon Collins, but I think Landon Collins is going to be released uh, sooner than later as well. So, but Morgan Moses, man, I appreciate everything that he's done. You know, he's a he's a solid player, not a great player, but a solid player. He gets the job done. Ninety six consecutive starts, man. This man put his body on the line every game, got hurt every game, and still stood out there and played hard and just found a way to start every game. And like I said, he was a captain of the team, and um, he was solid this year. He this is one of his better years. He was the six rated. Um, right tackle and pro football focus for whatever it's worth. And he played well, man. He held it down. Like I said, he played on the left side when guys got hurt and held it down, played all 16 games. So I, I Mr. I, I hop Morgan Moses, like I said, I mean, there were some times where he did get you upset, talking to the media on the radio all the time and, and control of freezing and throws up against the Niners. But um, I, I thought he definitely could have helped out this year. And I, I really, I think he definitely could have helped out. So, but um you know, I'm just going to trust the process with Ron Rivera. I'm just going to trust in it, you know. Um, that's all I can do is sit back and, and trust the process and trust in Ron Rivera and, and hope that Sam Cosme works out of right tackle. I mean, the guy that is an athletic freak, ran a 4 8 40, being off as a lineman, and that's the strength and the vertical jump from, from Sam Cosme. He must have looked really, really good in rookie minicamp. So we'll see what the young man can do. But like I said, as far as cap space, we saved $7.75 million. We have about $13 million something before the releasing of Morgan Moses. So we have about $20 million in cap space. So that probably will go to the extension of John Allen. Ron really wants to keep this offensive line going. I mean, this defensive line together. He wants to keep all the guys. He probably wants to keep Matt for a long time. Matt, even Matt and Itis for a long time. Tim Settle for a long time. And John Allen for a long time. Of course, Chase and Montez in the near future. So... Then we got to pay Terry McLaurin in a couple of years too. So I I understand I understand, but at the same time I I don't 100 agree with the move. But um, you know we'll see what happens. All I can do is sit back and trust in Ron Rivera. You know that's all I can do. You know maybe he'll bring in another um, Panther player and we'll see. Um, so um, and Ron we trust man. Um, the Wizards play tonight big game so we got to get this dub man. We got our butts kicked the other day and it looked bad but we definitely got to step up and get this to get this going. So. Um, Morgan Moses, Mr. Aha Pancakes released, and Jaron Christian released. And Josh Harvey Clemens was released the other day. We signed a linebacker named, I forgot his name, Joe something from the uh, Niners or something like that. So, all right, you guys, um, let me know what you guys think, man. Hell to the football team. Peace.